When I grew up and where I grew up, for someone like me with pinkish beige skin, Juneteenth, if you'd heard of it at all, was something for African Americans, a celebration I didn't know much about, it wasn't covered in history books, and it wasn't talked about in school. But Juneteenth represents in so many ways our fractured history in the United States, how differently we experience history depending on who we are, often according to the color of our skin. Take the date chosen to celebrate the end of the institution of slavery, June 19th. Not the day of the Emancipation Proclamation and not the day of ratification of the 13th Amendment. It's the day that people enslaved in Texas were finally made aware of a document that had proclaimed their freedom more than two years earlier. Information they did not have because people with more power did not want them to have it. Access to information and how it affects our experience is something that librarians are all about. Also, Juneteenth, this milestone, was something that many worked hard to erase and make disappear, as if the institution of slavery was a minor issue. But of course, it was fundamental to the founding of our country. African Americans had to persevere and get very creative just to continue to celebrate this milestone. Our fractured history hurts us. It creates misunderstanding and indifference where we desperately need understanding and empathy. Juneteenth, its history as well as the event it commemorates, offers an opportunity to put that fractured history, or at least start to put that fractured history together.